Welcome back, y'all, to the Faith to Write studio. I'm going to be talking about WordPress today. Just some high-level basics that will help you, hopefully, decide on doing a WordPress, self-hosted WordPress website. I've been working with WordPress for over a decade. Actually, it's probably more like 15 years, but hey, 15 is more than 10. So over 10 years doing it with my own websites, um, as well as for others, primarily small businesses and authors like myself. Um, I think that the, well, let me go back a little bit. The reason why I started doing it was because I had spent so many years with more complicated content management systems like Joomla, E100, Drupal, um, some, well, one of those, I don't think they even, E100 is even around anymore, but, um, and then there was Limbo and uh, so many, there were so many back in the day when content management systems were the rage and people were moving away from sites that you could build with Dreamweaver or just straight up notepad, HTML, CSS. That's when I started in, in that whole kind of Mindstorm. It was. It just blew my mind, and it, I was attracted to it, being kind of a techie mindset, and taught myself HTML, CSS, and how to use Dreamweaver. And then Adobe bought out Dreamweaver, and I was crushed. But I realized Dreamweaver was good in a, in, a, in its own space, in its own time. It was good. And then, oh my goodness, I saw all these content management systems, and learned a little PHP and, and all of these other programming languages, just enough to be dangerous. <laughs> and um, then when WordPress came on the scene, it was like, why am I messing with any of it? All these are just, why, what? Why? Why? Just why? <laughs> so, I mean, I still, I, I've helped clients with their legacy websites that do have a mishmash of HTML and CSS and Joomla, so I still have that skill set. But I'd rather go to WordPress anytime, any day of the week, any day of the year, because I think it's just that the rich of a content management system, it has grown over the years. It's not just a blogging platform anymore. It's, it's I mean, you've got universities using it, hospital systems, you name it. It's not just something that the small business people can use, nonprofits, anybody and everybody. It's just got that many options and it's become that strong. And here are three of the strengths, in my opinion. I'm using my cheat sheet, my little sticky note here, so pardon me if I look down. And in the long run, it's cheaper than other options for content management systems, in my opinion. If you get a self-hosting option that is, is, is low in price, but with the features that you want as possible, it could be easily under 150 or maybe even less than that a year. Um, and if you're like, ooh, that's too much, then yeah, go with something else. Go with a hosted, go go to WordPress.com. Um, but what, what you might find with going to that is you're paying for the option to connect your domain name that you registered somewhere else. You're paying to connect those two with hosting and the domain name. Or you're paying for e-commerce options, or you're paying for um, to use another template or, or theme is what WordPress calls it. So yeah, you kind of have to weigh those options and think ahead, plan ahead. What do you where do you want to what do you what do you want your website to be doing? It always starts with a plan. Whenever whenever I talk to a client, I always start with a plan, not just oh yeah, let me give you a site, cha ching. No. I want you to be happy. I want it to fit into your budget, but I also want it to serve you well. So number one, is it giving you all the options that are affordable for you? And I think a self-hosted WordPress website, and it really depends on the hosting uh, and, and their fees, but self-hosted kind of your basic plan is good. Now, if you're selling things directly from your website, then yeah, you're going to have some other fees um, like a secure socket layer and those kinds of things. But yeah, so you got to, like I said, plan ahead, figure out what you really need. And don't pay for more than you need. But compared it to other services that are hosted, where they charge you for everything, nickel and dime you, 
self-hosted WordPress website might just be cheaper. So do some side-by-side -side comparison. It's mobile-friendly. That's my number two. It's, it's genuinely mobile-friendly, not just saying it's mobile-friendly because it'll come up on, say, the iPhone, the latest iPhone. But it won't, all the, you know, won't grandfather back and be legacy-friendly. So is it really? Yeah. Or is it absolute? Um, like too rigid and it won't forgive and, and, and break what I call break gracefully and bring certain items underneath instead of having your your visitor scroll to the left or right. They're only scrolling vertically because, yeah. Yeah, that make, that doesn't make sense, does it? On a mobile device, having to make people scroll left or right. Anyway, so does it really, is it really mobile friendly? So if you're using a current theme, and that's what the templates are called in WordPress. If you're using a current theme, excuse me, if you're using a, a current theme up to date with the latest version of WordPress, then you shouldn't have to worry about whether it's mobile friendly or not. So keep your themes updated and you're good to go. Last one is SEO friendly, search engine optimization friendly. Now, uh, Wix might say that it is, and maybe on some search engines it might be, but on the, the later ones, like the more up-to-date search engines, things get lost. Things get not recognized as they you would want them to be. You're writing in um, your keywords and your, your descriptions and trying to optimize your site for search engines, they probably are not coming up like you would want them to with something other than a WordPress website. Particularly, you're using a self-hosted option. You can add in other third-party plugins or the add-ons, they're called plugins or, or widgets to help your site get found easier with your target audience. And that's really what you want. You really want your website to be working for you, working harder um, for you than, you know, you, you don't have to kind of manage it. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll get back to you. And also I've included uh, a download about how to install WordPress. A free, you know, you don't have to give me your email in order to get it. It's totally free. Um, let me know what you think and drop some questions, comments. I appreciate it. Uh, subscribe, like this video, tell your friends. Thank you so much. See you next time in the Faith to Write studio.